Hello and welcome to the Flatson e-commerce WordPress theme tutorial. Today we're going to hit on a very, very important topic which can literally save your butt online and legally. Whether you're running a small website, large web, especially if you're running a large website, and especially if you're running an e-commerce store and selling stuff online, there are a few things that you need to do to make your site completely compliant with the law. If you're selling an e-commerce site stuff, and if you're well selling anything through your website directly, highly, highly, highly recommended that you get an SSL certificate that will make the connection between your website and the merchant account secure, which is good. You want that. And by the way, it's legally required if you're processing any, mm, how shall we say, required personal information such as a credit card number over your website. But there's a little caveat. If anything you're doing and sending information like that doesn't really happen directly on your website, such as if you're sending them from your website to a PayPal page where they check out there and only then get sent back to your website, you really don't need one. But it's still a good practice to have one. But the other very, very important thing which I'm going to talk about in this video is a little thing that most people don't think about and that's the privacy policy disclaimer and those types of things well where is it well usually there's a little link down here but we don't have one and our demo is an e-commerce site so we do legally need to have one if this were going to be a real site we need to have a privacy policy a disclaimer could be one and the same thing sort of or combined and we need to tell people what's going to happen with their refunds how we're gonna handle our money and all those fun things. They need to know this legally and it has to be shown. For many merchant processors, by the way, you will not even be approved if you can't show that you have a real website with a disclaimer and privacy policy. So you need these kinds of things. Well, it's super easy to create the page because all we have to do is go to new page and we can call it more or less anything we want. But this, in this case, I call it a privacy policy. That's it. I'm going to make it a center title and publish. And that's all I'm going to do for now. So I'm setting everything up. I'm also going to disallow comments and trackbacks and all those fun things. And that's it. That's what we need for now. Next and super important thing is we need to get one. Well, we're not lawyers. So what do we do to get one? Well, the easiest thing we can do for now, especially when starting, it's get one created for us using a privacy policy and disclaimer generator. Thankfully, there's a lot of free ones online, so you don't have to spend a dime. Little caveat here though, when you do start making money, when your site starts going, you start getting visitors, really, really, really have a lawyer craft you one that is specific to your case, your website and everything you're doing. Because the privacy policy generator you know, it's kind of generic. So it doesn't cover all the bases. It'll kind of cover the general stuff. If you're super small, you probably won't get in trouble. But if you start growing, you need these because by the way, people have been sued for their lack of a privacy policy or incorrect wording in there or something that was missing in there. So you do really need this kind of stuff in there. Thankfully, they're super easy to find and there's lots of tools for free to get this done. So let me show you how to do that. So let's pop on over to our favorite search engine, in my case, Google. I'm going to search for this and it's very, very simple. All we do is search for privacy policy generator. That's it. As you can see, there's already lots available here and all pretty well ranked. This little green dot, by the way, this little extension I'm using for Chrome, it's called Web of Trust. And the, all these sites here are very well ranked because green, green is good. So let's check out generator privacy policy. Well, we can use this one, click start, name, URL, and just go through that process. And that sounds pretty easy. One we've used before, at least for basic stuff. It's just this, start. Well, all you need is some basic things. Um, it asks the, pro most of these will ask the pro proper questions for generic stuff. Again, once you start growing, get a lawyer to craft this for you. But otherwise, some of this stuff is pretty easy to do. You know, what kind of information am I going to be collecting? 
Um, for example, we run the e-commerce store. We have contact forms, and if you probably will have contact forms. So you probably gather something like the name, email address. In our case, we also get all of this, not all of the stuff except social security number. We don't need that, and a few other things as well. Well, where do you where do you get it, and so on and so forth. The, all these privacy policy generators, if they're good enough, will ask you these types of questions and craft one sort of specific to your case, but still decently generic, and it'll be good enough to start. So which one out of these should you be using? Great question. Honestly, I don't know. This one, freeprivacypolicy.com, seems to be pretty darn good so far. But go through some of these. Um, as a test, by the way, I went to this one. Uh, it didn't look that great and it was weird, so avoid that one. But just try these and see which ones work for you. For disclaimers, you're going to do something similar. Disclaimer policy generator. Similar process. Step in the name, generator. You come up with a whole bunch of stuff. That one, in this case, doesn't work. Well, go through some, see what works, see what doesn't. Pick something that's good enough and good enough. This one, for example, doesn't look that great, but it'll work because that's all you need. And in all honesty, that's all you need. Once you get the content, whatever it may be, just pop and pop on back to your privacy policy page and copy and paste it here. So here I've just gone ahead and pasted the information from our store. So if we visit the page, there, there's our official privacy policy. So. You'll want three of these probably, a privacy policy, a disclaimer, and a terms of use. If you're running e-commerce, you'll probably want sections also about how to handle refunds, how to handle money, do you prorate that, how do you handle subscriptions if you have them, so on and so forth. You want the money aspects in there as well. So that's simply how you add a privacy policy and all those fun stuff into your website. Just Google a generator for those things and plug them in to start. If you have enough money, Get a lawyer because they'll customize it to your very specific needs. And that's it.